so uh, we will start the lecture okay ते सांगायच्या आधी एक मी काय केले रिकरिंग केलेली या झूमची मिटिंग म्हणजे तुम्ही हाच ऍड्रेस वापरू शकता पुढच्या सगळ्या लेक्चरला ठीक आहे आणि जरी कट झालं फोर्टी मिनिट्स नंतर लगेच जॉईन व्हा कारण बरेच जण डायरेक्ट गायब होतात काय सगळ्यांना सांगतोय हे करू नका म्हणजे पळू नका लगेच ओके सो इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हॅव सीन द परफॉर्मन्स डिझाईन मेट्रिक्स ओके थोडस रिवाइज करतो आणि देन वी लिव्ह नेक्स्ट टॉपिक सम ऑफ द परफॉर्मन्स डिझाईन मेट्रिक्स अँड फाय दिज आर इम्पॉर्टंट बिकॉज इन लास्ट इयर यू हॅव टू बिल्ड युअर ओन प्रोजेक्ट ओके सो हाव टू मेजर द परफॉर्मन्स ऑफ युअर ओन प्रोजेक्ट सो टू मेजर द परफॉर्मन्स यू शुड हॅव सम परफॉर्मन्स डिझाईन मेट्रिक्स ओके सो दिज आर नॉट ओन्ली जनरल पर्पज डिझाईन मेट्रिक्स बट व्हेन एव्हर यू डिझाईन युअर ओन प्रोजेक्ट सो दॅट टाईम यू हॅव टू मेजर द परफॉर्मन्स ऑफ युअर ओन प्रोजेक्ट गेटिंग सो हाऊ टू मेजर द परफॉर्मन्स ऑफ युअर प्रोजेक्ट सो दिज आर सम ऑफ द डिझाईन मेट्रिक्स ओके सो दे आर मे बी द पॉसिबिलिटी दॅट सम ऑफ द डिझाईन मेट्रिक्स ओके दॅट मे यू कॅन इन्क्लूड डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द टाईप ऑफ सिस्टीम यू आर गोईंग टू यूज बट दिज आर सम ऑफ द व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट सम ऑफ द व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट डिझाईन मेट्रिक्स दॅट यू अंडरस्टूड ओके सो फर्स्ट इज अ लॅटन्सी सेकंड इज अ थ्रोपोट अँड स्पीड ओके सो युअर लॅटन्सी इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट दॅट इज अ रिस्पॉन्स टाईम इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट इन एम्बेड सिस्टम्स बिकॉज वी आर गोईंग टू इम्प्लिमेंट टू टाईप्स ऑफ सिस्टम वन इज अ सॉफ्ट रिअल टाईम सिस्टम अँड सेकंड इज अ हार्ड रिअल टाईम सिस्टम सो एनिबडी कॅन टेल व्हॉट इज द डिफरन्स बिट्वीन सॉफ्ट रिअल टाईम सिस्टम अँड हार्ड रिअल टाईम सिस्टम कॅन एनिबडी टेल द डिफरन्स what is the difference between the hard real time system and soft real time system okay so that is what uh, that is the reason why response time is important okay so response time is important regarding uh, these aspects okay that is your response time is very important in uh, hard real time system so there is a deadline and you have to complete that deadline okay otherwise you have to face the catastrophic effect so response time of your embedded system is very important design matters and throughput also we have seen that is number of tasks executed per second and also the speed up of uh, one task over the other task that also we have seen okay that is nothing but the comparison between that two persons okay whose speed is high so that we have seen in last time and also i try to start the uh, next topic Uh, the name of the next topic is a three key embedded system technologies okay uh, is it visible to everybody uh, i have not make it full screen so still is it visible is give me the uh, response is it visible on your mobile yes, okay so uh just see we have seen what is the technology okay uh, as we are the uh, engineers so Uh, there are more chances of asking the definition of uh, what is the engineering what is technology okay uh, that is also important and one more important thing is what are the different technologies in your electronics okay so these are the three key technologies uh, we have seen last time also i have explained that is first technology is called as a processor technology second is called as a ic technology and third is called as a design technology okay so before this we'll see the what is the technology okay so technology is nothing but again a manner of accomplishing a task okay especially using technical processes methods or knowledge okay that means we have to use that means you have given uh, some specific task and you have to accomplish that task using some technical procedures okay or some technology so that is called as a technology so now there are three different types of technologies uh, first is a processor technology okay ic technology and design technology so we'll see one by one now first technology is called as a processor technology so once the uh, names comes as a processor 
so in my mind comes this as a cpu okay cpu means your central processing unit or i will say that this is a controller okay what kind of controller uh, being used in your embedded system so that will decide the processor technology okay so processor basically related with a controller okay that is which kind of controller we are going to use so there are three types of controllers okay and depending upon that there are three types of technology or processor technology again so the first type of this processor technology is called as a general purpose technology and this is called as a software means there is another name which we call this as a software also second uh, processor technology is called as application specific processor technology and third is called as a single purpose processor technology and this is also called as a hardware that means this is simply hardware okay one kind of uh, dedicated hardware and we have seen the definition of the processors also, or processor technology or what is the role of processor technology so the role of processor technology is again very simple that means some kind of architecture of the computation engine used to implement a system's desired functionality okay so we have to implement some kind of computational engine okay that will accomplish our task okay that is called as the processor technology so the block uh, in this uh, slide uh, three different block diagrams are shown okay for three different processor technologies so we will see one by one now uh, this is the first one uh, now i think is it visible to everybody visible to everybody i think okay i have make it full screen so first is called as a general purpose processor so in the uh, title itself uh, it is explained that uh, whatever the type of processor it is it is a general purpose processor okay what is a general purpose that means i can use for many applications okay so that's why this is called as a general purpose processor now just uh, go through the diagram okay so this is what the uh, block diagram of general purpose processor now we'll just uh, see it carefully if you understood this block diagram you are able to understand the block diagrams of uh, uh, second and third types of processor technologies so first uh, block is called as a controller you just observed in the block diagram so controller uh, what is inside the controller so you have the control logic and state registers okay uh, then there is a pc what is pc it's called as a program counter then ir ir is called as a instruction register okay so this is what is inside the controller now there are two types of memories over there one is called as a data memory and second is called as a program memory okay then next block contains data paths okay and what is data paths so data paths is nothing but the register file register file and the general alu okay so what is the function of each of this can anybody tell me so let us start from the uh, memories so there are two memories data memory and program memory now what is the use of data memory anybody this is these are the oral question again what is the use of program memory and what is the use of the data memory why there are two types of memories either you will unmute yourself or put the answer in the chat box archana rai quad is coming okay so what is the difference anybody so just see it is memory so memory is used to store some uh, store your programs okay so now the why there are two types of memories deshmukh kakre why there are two types of memories program memory and data memory onkar uh 
program memory is used to store programs and data okay. memory is used to store data okay but what is the basic difference Uh, from uh, program uh, program executes uh, from the program memory and uh, the execution data is stored in the data memory that is uh, different. so this is what the uh, uh, problem actually okay so we should have our basic uh, that should be okay i have got some answers data memory is used uh, to store external data data memory is used to read and write values okay so again i will tell you the difference okay remember this one now program memory is your ram okay that means whatever the things that you have to put that is called as a uh, uh, that is called as whatever the uh, programs or uh, the code that you want to put and you are not going to change those programs so that is put into the program memory okay so most of the time the instructions okay up codes and all these things are put into the program memory okay and what is in your data memory whatever the variables okay just see there are two two things one is a fixed data and second is a variables so i will tell you that you put your variables into data memory and you put your fixed code into the program memory are you got getting or not this is what is the difference if you get these two things then you will understand the Uh, the use of program memory and data memory okay whatever the fix code you copy that code into the program memory and whatever the variables okay or the registers that will get updated frequently you put those register into the data memory okay the meaning is very simple whatever the variable now what do you mean by variable let you have the simple uh, application of addition a equal to b plus c and now let b and c values are fixed getting let b equal to 1 and c equal to 2 so now these values are fixed no need to put these values into data memory even though these are the a b c are variables okay no need to put your two fixed variables into the data memory okay you can put it into the program memory okay and also you can put Uh, now what is changing your y is changing okay or let c equal to a plus b so here value of c is changing according to the contents of a plus b so now you put c into the data memory so that is what the difference between the these two memories so first memory is used to store the fixed instructions or data and the another memory is used to store only the variables or the data which is going to change frequently for example again accumulator the contents of accumulator is always going to change according to the operation that addition subtraction multiplication the contents of accumulator going to change so you put such a kind of variable into the data memory are you getting this is what the uh, basic difference between two memory now if i have nothing to uh, uh, nothing to get uh, updated okay i have simple uh, program program of addition of two numbers and those two numbers are also fixed that A equal to one and B equal to two. So I know that one plus two three. So this program is completely fixed. So there is no need to use the data memory. Okay. But if A, B, and C values are you are going to change and that get updated frequently, now put these three variables into the data memory and do not put into the program memory. Ready? So this is what the basic difference. Now another is data path. I mean, data part there is a register file. Now, what is register file? Anybody? What do you mean by register file? Uh, unfortunately, uh, we have not covered uh, digital signal processor. That is your unit number four and fifth from the last semester. Okay. Uh, in the subject of advanced processor, there are two parts. One is uh, uh, that is called as embedded controller. and another is called as a dsp processor so in that dsp processor we have the concept of register file so basically register file is nothing but the set of registers okay let uh, in arm we have a0 to a50 okay so now this all this uh, register is called as a file okay called as a register file 
and general ALU. You know already this is arithmetic logical unit. And again, this is called as a general. General ALU means you can perform addition, multiplication, subtraction. So different kinds of operations or general operation you can perform by using this ALU unit. Now the controller already you know that it will control all the operations. That is what the role of the controller. Okay. So in general purpose processor, let us see how it will work. The controller will fetches the instructions by using program counter from the program memory. Okay. Now what is the role of program counter? Let's see. Again, I will uh, put the focus on the basic concepts. Okay. Uh, you must be technically sound and and around you you have to develop other skills okay otherwise it's of no use okay so try to make your basic uh, strong okay or as strong as possible so what is program counter anybody am i audible to everyone First of all, to hold the address of next instruction. Ah, yes, definitely correct. To fetch the instruction of next instruction. So, what is the role of program counter? It will, uh, it will uh, point to the first instruction in the program memory. Now, just see that instruction is fetched back into the instruction register. Okay, so program counter will uh, first point to the first instruction. And then it will put that instruction into instruction register. Now the role of instruction register is to uh, decode that instruction. Okay. And the execution is done by the program counter. Okay. So let us see. The first instruction is copied. Okay. Into IR. Okay. It having some variables. So that variable is copied into some register. Let A0. Okay. Then again program counter will a point to the next instruction the next instruction again copied into instruction register instruction register will decode the 